today I wanted to show you how to use aqua campaign okay it is very important uh, application for hydrogeologists and water quality analysis experts okay now I will show you step by step how can we use this aquifer test uh, application okay to do this, the first thing that yeah, that is expected from you is to create a new project. Okay, so go to a new project here, or here you don't have new project. Either of the two is possible. Let me say here. Let me click here to project. Now my project is choice, choice water, choice water. Okay. Now after that, okay, you can select where you want to put your uh, output let me make easily accessible in my desktop here let me create a choice okay my uh, let me give choice choice is my uh, okay then let me create now my folder here is on the desktop choice so my project is here okay the project name is choice water now go to next are you wanted to permanently delete the contents of the selected okay nothing is available it is empty if there is it should create that okay it requires it so the next step is continue again finish okay it is a very easy step to create the projects okay after that when you see the recent project you see that the trees water is my new project okay here is where where is it it is in the folder here here if you open this one you will get this content report choice water choice what choice water choice water okay okay if you for example open this here Okay, enable it. Okay, it is choice water. Okay, this is setup for the project. Nothing is here except setup. Okay, so let us continue. Continue. The first thing here is also like as we have created a project, let us create station here is station list to create station add new station okay add new station then in the next step we should write again what is the station names for example choice choose water choose water one project it may be its coordinate is zero is also zero here is zero assume uh, assume the depth of the water is 50 okay let us leave for the toc here now for the timing now let us after we finished station list go to sample list and also here is don't forget to save it it is mandatory after that again we sample list now add new sample list okay choice sample choice water choice uh, it is a choice water water sample water sample okay enter yeah I've created or add new sample 
list then after that save it again to save means it is mandatory okay just when you add choice water sample here it will be displayed here choice water sample here and choice water sample here okay now after that the next step is add your data here now i have in my hand the following data calcium the calcium value is 1.6 okay this data is taken from one bottled water okay magnesium here is magnesium it is 0 0.88 the other is potassium potassium 0 0.12 potassium the other is also sodium sodium 0 0.9 okay then hydrogen carbonate bicarbonate here 10.5 okay and again chloride chloride let me add chloride chloride here chloride it is 0 0.02 okay and again nitrate 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 here NO3 NO3 0 0.03 okay again iron 0 sulfate iron here 0 it is 0 okay the other is uh, sulfate SO4 sulfate SO4 SO4 0 0.06 the other fluoride okay to find uh, easily F click here F fluoride if there is fluoride it will be displayed here okay I think the let us go to find okay does the TDS 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 and click here TDS value is given 8.52 TDS value now there is pH value, pH value it is seven. Okay, seven. Alkalinity, AK alkalinity, Al alkalinity. Okay, not in the list. Okay, I think it is enough. Okay, we have what? Uh, added or entered all the value which is given in the bottle and which is similar to that the list okay list so the second step is save it okay save it after you save it okay you know check the calculate value it is n n n n okay no number is given okay no n number is given so what about next step calculate water type okay let us calculate what we calculate it is the name the name is here 
choice of water sample okay regional chemistry function okay uh, plot setting you do have parameters function okay function this is total dissolved soil and sum of anion sum of cation okay here is TOC TOC means calculated total organic carbon here Okay, in the station we have seen these things. Okay. Now generally water type. Now just to you see it's calculated within second. Within a second, okay, microsecond, okay. You will see the calculated value for EN value 5.45 TDS value, okay, for calculation based on the EC value 14.11 actually we have given TD value TD value is 8.52 but it calculated as 14.7 sum of an ion 0.17 sum of cation 0.19 okay based on that everything is calculated here so we can say that EN is electrical neutrality Okay, if it is in electrical neutral means the value okay it should be anion and cation balance should be equal okay so it is divided actually from five okay so there is little division point for five deviation from the normal so it should have some attention given for this one when you drink this type of water okay um the other thing once you get this value can okay here the type of water is displayed here now calcium magnesium sodium bicarbonate water okay this is a type of water Okay, based on the data, calcium, magnesium, sodium, bicarbonate water type. Now, let us see this on the uh, mm, plot. Go to the plot, new plot collection. Here. There are different methods actually. Let us use this one, the common one, and apply this one. Okay. Okay. Look. Here is a value for this one, this one, and this one. So we can represent like this okay I'll not go detail each point but I want to show you this general way how can we this is a histogram okay actually different uh, different method can be shown here okay this is another method mostly we use in chemistry okay water chemistry mm. okay so in this way we can show our data analysis okay if you want you can uh, export by this one export the image property can do this one okay if you want also edit parameters you can use this one editor okay if you want parameter group editor 
or parameter editor okay here is a plot okay here is a plot okay in short you can go by this one or you can go by this one okay the same thing is here happen okay this is scatter graph okay so but the most commonly used method is the piper the piper okay okay thank you for watching my video i'll join you in another video thank you for your attention see you